Hello everybody and welcome to my tutorial, my first tutorial. I'm so sorry if there are dips or anything else, but in my next tutorial it will become better, right? We improve. So, what I'm doing is my tutorial uh, is the Sims 4 uh, thumbnails uh, for any creative sim or any let's play or anything like that. Uh, yeah, it is actually really, it is The Sims 4 because we're cutting out while in Create a Sim because you can't make screenshots as you guys heard in The Sims 4 Create a Sim. Or I don't, yeah, you do in live mode, but it's, I guess it's all really hard. So, what you have, what I make screenshots with is Fraps and as you can see, you can see like the traits above there and it's still not the greatest thing. So I use paint.net and paint.net is completely free of charge. You can um, Google it and you can download it and you make sure to have the latest version and then you're ready and set to go. Uh, yeah, also you just need The Sims 4 of course and you need your background that you want uh, so your thumbnail looks pretty and nice and you need your Sims 4 logo. I'd think, I'd say, um, go with transparent logo, type that in in Google and you'll get the transparent Sims 4 logo. Okay guys, what we're gonna do is we have the Sims 4, oh my god, paint.net in front of us. We have our colors and that's how you choose in Windows. You have your tools, your layers, and your colors. Uh, layers, I'll explain it all later. First, you're gonna go ahead and go file. Oops, what am I doing? Oh my god, oh my god, I'm so sorry. File, new, and what you want for your width is 1440. And what you want for your height is 896. This is a perfect thumbnail, um, thumbnail size. You don't need anything else. I recommend you to just use these sizes. And if you use another size, that's of course, that's what you want, but I'd recommend this size because it's the best size and it works for every thumbnail. Okay, you click, you hit okay, and you get your paper, well, yeah, your size and on your paper. So then you go file new again and you just go, okay, you don't need to look at any of the um, sizes because this one is for the Sims 4. What you do is you make a few screenshots with, um, Perhaps. And what you do then is you go ahead and bring in a, uh, in a, oh my god, uh, The Sims 4 Create a Sim picture. Oh my god. <laughs> Screenshot. So what you do now is you go ahead and you drag it. That's all you have to do. And you can just go open Z image. And what we're, I'm sorry, my, my earphones keep getting on one. Okay, what you do then is you go ahead and go re rectangle select and you select her. Make sure there is a lot of blue space left because if you go ahead and do this, you can't cut her out later on because we're going to cut her out so you can see, like, you can't see anything anymore. What you want to do is you want to, like, want her head to her waist, I believe, or you can just do the whole dress and not the whole jibba jabba like that. So we're going to go ahead and do it like this. And what you're going to do then is this little button right over your crop to selection. You click that and this is what happens. Um, it crops to your selection and, well, what you want, of course. And, of course, again, you can crop it. And if you don't want it, you can just go back like that. Really, really simple, really easy. I'm gonna go in and take that out. Now is we're gonna get, I'm sorry, just think that away. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and get in our background. We're gonna go, um, opens the image. So this is our, gonna be our background. What you do is you go to Google and you click anything, you um, Google up candy. And if you see like a really, really nice snicker bar and, and anything like that, you can put it as your background if, if you're making a sim called the lollipop sim or anything like that. But I found pink a cute background because that really, when someone sees that, they always go to it and they're like, yes, I want that, you know? So I thought, why don't choose this? 
Now, if you have the background, you go ahead and go add a new layer. This is pretty hard. I had to like go through it a couple of times and that's why I even forgot the background just now. Then again, you click, then you copy her and you go ahead and paste her. So now she's over the background and what you want is you don't want to keep this blue background. Of course you don't. Delete that here. Uh, then save. Yeah. And you can you can get that one out too. Uh, unless you want to keep it for if you delete this one or anything like that. Uh, you can make it bigger. You can make it small. You can turn it around and all that stuff. You guys know what I mean. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and get the magic wand. We're going to go ahead and take the tolerance that they say. So 50 cuts like the bad parts of the sim. So you're going to go ahead and find the great tolerance. The best tolerance. Till the whole sim, like the whole background fills up just like this. Maybe a pinch. Well, that that does not really work. And then you don't go backspace. You hit the delete on your keyboard. That this is what happens. Well, I don't like it because they're pretty. They're like these white. Um. Yeah, I'm not I'm not gonna go with that. There are these white parts that stay be on your sim and that's not pretty but you can always change that later on by um by um adding in the glow but i'll show you guys that all that later but that's not what i want you really want the sim completely and if you want you can go ahead and skip this you know what i'm gonna pause it and i'm gonna come back when i have the great tolerance Yes, she was a hard sim. Wait, am I recording? Yes, I am. Okay, yes, she was a hard sim because I could not find any tolerance, but it is 40. Um, usually it's like a different tolerance. Um, it's always a different tolerance, so don't always put it on 40 and expect to see no chances of any weirdness. So now you're going to hit the delete button, what deletes part of her arm, but that does not matter because you won't see that anymore later on. So now we're going to want to delete this and of course you have to take out the tolerance really deeply. We're going to go ahead and get the 10. But that, that, that really almost works, right? That almost works. Sometimes you just really have to click somewhere else to get it. A little bit further. A little bit further. A little bit further. Oh my god. I'm boring you guys, am I not? There you go. I guess that's what you guys wanted. <laughs> oh, oh, damn it. I see this is what you what happens if you hit backspace. That will happen a lot. Uh well it happened with me a lot, so always hit the delete button. It's not like you're gonna see that anymore, but you still want your sim all neat and understand that you really want that. I'm sorry, sometimes this really takes a while. There. Good enough. Anyway, we're gonna give her a glow later, so do not um do not be any scared or anything. So this is how your sim looks like really cute um, and she has like the pink background behind her so it's really nice what we're gonna do now is we're gonna um, give in the glow how we're gonna do that really easy yeah I'm thinking <laughs> uh, what you're gonna do is you're going to add a new layer later you can merge the layers and it'll become just one thumbnail we're gonna go ahead and take the paint bucket and you always want the both of these the primary oh whoops the primary these two to be white. So we're gonna go in Whoa 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 tolerance sorry 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 
Yeah, I don't think we really have the sin itself, right? Yeah, we don't. We have the second layer. I was like, what? Oh, no, 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 no. See, I told you there would be rough spots. I told you there would be rough spots. See, and then you actually cut her. So That's pretty dumb. Not what I want. Not what I want. Really not what I want. So, yeah, you're going to go ahead and want her like this and put the paint bucket. And it doesn't look good, so you have to go back. Nope, it does not look good. To go back. Till your sim is fully white, so you can get like the white kind of shade on the back. You have to always hit back because otherwise it will not turn out well. It's pretty, pretty awesome though. Look, so. Well, this is pretty much her, and it looks really nice and white. But what we're going to do now is we're going to go and um, click the blue key. Yeah, click the blue key. And then going to go layer. Wait, no. Ah, no, 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 no. We're going to go copy her. Wait, yeah, right? Right, yeah. We're going to go layer, add new layer, and then we're going to paste her. As you can see over here, there are two of them. And what you're going to do now is you're going to click on the this one, and you're going to go like that. Oh, damn it. Please, please, no, 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 no. Okay. Uh, yeah, so you have your white sim now. And... Wait, wait, wait. I'll be right back. Wait. Okay, guys, I'm so sorry about the patches, but what you're going to do now is you're going to go and copy her, and you're going to go layer, add new layer, and paste her. So then you have, like, the colored sims. And then on the next layer, you're going to go ahead, and you're going to fill her up. Oh, damn it. No. No. No, oh, no, 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 I didn't expect this. Oh. Well, that's really an improvement. Almost. This sim is really hard. Okay, there you go. Uh, then we're going to go ahead and go to this one. And what you're going to do now is you're going to move layer down. You're going to get it kind of like a white spot, a white thing around her, white wing. I don't know what you want to do. <laughs> You're going to go effects, blurs, Gaussian blur. You're going to blur her up. Look how she blurs. Like a beautiful ballerina. Okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> like, like that. And you want your blur completely, you get your blur completely. You want no blur, you don't get your blur. Personally, I do... 20, not 48. I, I really go for 20. Max. Max 20, right? I mean, yeah. So max 20, and you're going to go ahead and hit OK. Where is it? I'm sorry, my mouse was being weird. OK, OK. Now you got your beautiful blurred sim, gajizzle, bizzle, whatever. Um, on to... Oh, God. On to the new layer. That means... Wait. You want to merge it now. Right? Yeah. You want to go ahead and merge it. So, like, you have your kind of like a thumbnail, right? So, here. Merge the layer down. Merge another layer down. So, actually, you can't do anything anymore. Oh, God. Because that happens, of course. No, 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 no. I don't want that. Okay. Uh, this will go automatically. It's just like a thing that, I don't know, does stuff. But you need to be sure to put the sim wherever you want to and keep it there. Now it's actually just like the Sims 3. You go ahead and you... Ah. You go layer, add new layer. You go screenshots. You go the Sims full. 
then you go yeah that's not what I wanted to do you're well whatever yeah so I for I'm such a noob I really am I can't do anything here there you go. <laughs> then you get your big little Sims 4 thingy. Wait, I just, I'm keeping track on, of that. See, 60 minutes in. Like, it's not that bad. It's really fast, actually. If you want the best thumbnail, it's harder, of course. So I go with this size, and you're going to go and put it there. And as for the font, you go layers, add new layer, and now you go text. Yeah, it's white. So then you make it black completely. You want to go ahead and merge these layers back together so they're like together. Um, what you want to do is you want to select this part and you want you want text in there and then you can text in it. I'd say take take what you want with the letter size on depending on which font. Um, I don't know, but I got a font from someone and I don't know who, but which font I use is simple. It's it's a Sims font. And I use other fonts of course as well because there's a Disney uh, Disney font. But there is some, 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 here the here Sim L L H P. It's the best font you can ever imagine. It's amazing and it gives so so much like you can see so much in it. So we're gonna go ahead and go um, create a sim. Look at this. Look at this. Beautiful. Create a sim. And if you want another color, you can just, you can't click and drag, I'm sorry about that. You have to just get your colors on, window, colors. If you, I'd say we're going to go with a kind of like a blue on this one, because why not? Okay, um, now you just go ahead and say create a, look, a beautiful coral blue. Create a sim. Well, I don't like it actually. Well, what you're going to do is you're going to just, I don't know, figure something out at least. Yeah. Create. Damn it. I want a nice one. You want to finish up the tutorial like a nice idea. There you go. Create a sim and then I go to the next. And you can always move the cursor. You can always move the cursor. Um, create a sim um, and of course you can make the different colors and that's always really cute yay okay I believe you can yeah you can and then you can Here. no 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 well like this and this is how you make it and this is how you create thumbnails so I hope you guys liked watching this video I really had fun making it and I think I know how to make sims for it sims for thumbnails faster now um thank you so much for watching thank you for 78 subscribers guys it's amazing in such short time um i hope you guys like this video i think i already said that okay i hope you guys like this video and thumb this video up if you liked it and i hope i helped you because that's the idea in this video and you guys are amazing and thank you so much for for me showing you guys this tutorial i might speed up some parts i might not i don't know if i'm saying this right now and i've already sped it up but yes <laughs> uh thank you so much for watching and i hope you guys all make great thumbnails i'm looking forward to seeing them all bye guys